what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to be going over a glitchy method to help your ball player out whether you get stuck and you want to switch archetypes or you get traded to another team make sure that you drop a thumbs up on the video let's fight the algorithm i appreciate all the love and support on our way to 15,000 subscribers. Turn your notifications on right now and stay tuned for more MLB The Show 22 tips and tricks. Let's get it. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is come in here to your ball player before you do anything else and then you wanna go to settings. Then you wanna to come to file management and you wanna save. You want to save your current ball player. So if you are at an 85 overall, a 90 overall, a 92 overall, but you got traded to a different team or you got stuck on something where your missions is not working anymore, come in there, save it under the file, roll to the show, your sliders, anything that you want to do, make sure that you save that. Once you click on it and save, then you push start, you go in there and save it and make sure it turns to today's date. Okay, so after you do that, then we're gonna back out. Always make sure that you activate a certain player. So come right here to ball player, go to his loadout, come right here, activate. You're gonna see the little save at the bottom of the screen to the right. Every time that you push that, it saves it, okay? So once you get into your ball player screen, you can see I am 70 out of 100 total points. So I just got my diamond archetype to get ready to go into the diamond, and I only need this, this, and this to fully complete the gold tier and then I will switch over to the diamond which I will wait till the next program comes out and then I will finish all the diamond missions to get that XP. Okay, so if you come right here, 24 out of 25 plate appearances, I only need one more plate appearance to get that three points. Right here, I need 15 hits to get that three points. Right here, I only need one extra base hit to get them points now i usually do all hitting stats but being this close to the end of the program that's when i would turn on my stolen base missions so i can get three six nine twelve on the missions you can also get the assist if you have the fielding turned on so every time the ball comes to you and you throw somebody out for a double play or you throw somebody out that's going to be an assist a put out is every time they hit the ball and you catch it or every time they hit the ball and you tag the bag you are the one putting that person out okay so now we're going to bag out right here you have seen the missions you have seen everything and then we're going to come out of this screen now once we get out of this screen and you already activated your player that's when you want to come up here to vaults and then you want to load all the stuff that you already have saved so you come right here to vaults you're going to push r1 or rb go to roster and then you're going to go to road to the show xp grind detroit so from right here i go road to the show rtts and then i will search that okay so you push search and then you want to do Road to the Show XP Grind Detroit. Now, I have a certain one that I use because all my players are like 99 speed for their first two seasons. And even when you get moved up to Triple A, the Major League, all that, you will have them same players for about two to three seasons. This is if you get traded and you want to keep them same great players on your team where you are getting 7 to 11 hits every single game because the more runs you make the more plate appearances the more chances you have at put out sometimes it will glitch out you will score 150 200 runs and you will get a lot of hits you will get a lot of put out opportunities and that's what you want so i will come over here to page one page two page three and i'm looking for a certain name make sure that you have your cross play turned on so you can use this same xbox roster so we come right here and it's Hayes. Barney Hayes Barney to the left right here so you have road to the show Phillies all 99 and then you have Hayes Barney to the left road to the show XP grind Detroit Hayes Barney Xbox so make sure you have crossplay on this is the one that you want to save save it under a name that you are familiar with so you can go back to it every single time then once you save this roster you're going to get out of that screen. You're going to go through. You're going to save. You're going to do all that. Then you're going to come to Road to the Show, and you're going to push X or Square, depending on your system. That's going to pull up this right here, okay? So you're going to go to Start New, and you're going to be going to 
the Detroit Tigers. So set up my ball player. We're going to start new. Now, I activated my third base. That's why in your ball player, before you start this, make sure that he is activated. Now, I go right here to my Fat Dallas third baseman. I activate him, and then I back out. Now, this is my same player with all the same stuff. 82 overall, 70 out of 100. That's the person that I want to use. So I got him activated, and now this is going to come up. So once you back out of that, you're going to go to that person, click on them, and then push back, and then it's going to come to this screen. Now you want to go to Save Rosters. Boom. That's going to pull up your Road to the Show XP Grind. Roster Vault, Road to the Show XP Grind. Whatever you save that roster that you download as, make sure it's something that you can remember and it's different than all the rest of them. So now I am loading that roster in and then you're going to go through this same process again where you are getting drafted to the Detroit Tigers. So you're going to go through this process. You're going to do American League Central. So you're going to go through this little quick mission again. This is to put you right back at the beginning on that same team if you were traded or your stuff hasn't happened. Have you been talking to any particular team? There is one team I've heard from more than a couple times. Okay, let me guess. The Orioles. No, it's an American League team because you want to get to American League Central. Drop a thumbs up on the video if this helped you out. American League Central, right here at the bottom. Boom. It's going to be different questions, but you want to go to American League, and then you want to go to American League Central. From there, now you can get to the Detroit Tigers, okay? And once you select that, no matter what else you push, you will automatically get drafted to that team. So now, whatever you had, 88 overall, 90 overall, you just finished the silver, went up to the gold, you got traded. Now you're going to go right back to that team on the roster that I showed you, the super glitchy roster. And you're going to be able to get all your hits, extra base hits, your putouts, your assists, your stolen bases super, super fast. Now, when you max out a certain player, say that you are all the way up to 50 on a lot of stats, all you have to do is simulate an entire season and all your extra base stats that you don't use as far as a user, all of them will gradually go up. Okay, so say that you are 45 out of 50 on every single stat. Now, the ones that you are not playing, you can simulate them and they will go up to 48, 49, and 50 for you. Then you just restart the mission all over again and come right back to that same team. Just go ahead, simulate one season or two seasons. It don't matter. All your stats will accumulate. My pitcher was up to a 93 overall, and I didn't know about this at first, and I lost my pitcher. He went all the way down to a 79 overall. So here we go right back here at our calendar. My same 82 overall player, it's the beginning of the season again. If I go to my ball player, I go to my loadout, you're gonna see 82 overall. I got the diamond perk that I didn't put in yet. 70 out of 100 points, same exact spot. The only thing is, it's only a new season instead of where I was originally at. So this should help you out tremendously. Let me know in the comment section what overall your ball player is or let me know down below right now what you are having trouble with with your ball player and I try to answer every single comment. Haters, you are not allowed on this channel. All the supporters, drop a thumbs up on the video. Hit that red subscribe button today. It's free and turn your notifications on. So once you get into Road to the Show, I only need one plate appearance and I need one extra base hit. So a lot of people said show me. So I go right here to play game. So once you get into Road in the Show, you're going to do the active loadout. And then when you are in Diamond Dynasty, make sure that you go to 65 overall to put him in position. On that screen, it's not going to show you your true stats. But if you go into Play versus Computer on single player, if you go into Diamond Dynasty, if you go into Conquest, that would be your true stats. So you can see we got two base runners on base. 99 speed, 99 steal. And all I got to do is just wait for a pitch and then hit it. So most fastballs is going to be 86 miles per hour or lower. So every time that you take a pitch, you can see a little vision boost. Okay. At the end of every game, you're going to be getting small XP between 600 and 1200 XP. But the XP is generated through the programs. So we come right here. He throws a ball. Boom. We get a base hit right there. We got 99 speed runners on base every time. As you can see. The bottom of the first, 10 to 0 right now, getting back up to hit with this roster. 10 to 0 in the second. 
Okay, so everybody on this team is a beast. This is going to give you more plate appearances. And then sometimes, like I said, it's going to glitch out. You're going to be scoring 20, 25 runs in the first two innings. And then if you simulate, it's just going to go crazy. And you're going to have 200, sometimes 300 runs at the end of the game and about 30 to 40 plate appearances. So once you get stuck on something like that, make sure that you play as much as possible. That's going to land a fair ball. We're going to run around the bases. This is an extra base hit. So we're going to get a double right here. You are trying to get as many home runs, extra base hits, triples as possible. Okay, so boom. There's a nice hit right there. That should go at least to the fence. Hold up on the left stick right there and boom. We hit a bomb. That's another extra base hit. We only in the third inning right now and we are up 17 to zero. So I like to move over a little bit on defense, check the bases, two outs, nobody on. He hits it to me, I get over there, I let my guy get set and then I throw it. Otherwise your guy would throw it off the back foot. As you can see, that was an errant throw right there. Sometimes if you do it too fast, he would throw off his back foot or not make a good throw. So let your guy pick the ball up first and then complete the throw. 880 XP in the left. And then on top of that, you're gonna get the program XP. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven plate appearances. I only needed one, and then I only needed one extra base hit. Now you come right here to your progress, and you can see 76% out of the gold power. So I'm within four to five games of completing the goal. And then you can see I'm six out of 15 hits, 19 out of 30 assists. Very easy and very fast method in the ball player for you to be very, very glitchy, not have any problems. Now, all these stats like this, you can simulate. Contact versus right, you wanna get that up to at least 45. So if you can't get them in the game by doing contact swing with the power versus right, contact versus right, you can just go ahead after you get your guy all leveled up to about 90 overall, and then you can simulate a whole season. All these stats will automatically boost up the ones that you are not user planned. Drop a thumbs up and I'll see y'all in 24 hours. Let's go.